how you doing? Happy New Year. Welcome to 2018. And this is Will Moore, your host with Somewhere in America. And I got a real quick tip for you to start out your new year. It's a lighting tip. Eh, I know what you guys are saying. Not another lighting tutorial. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, so it's not another lighting tutorial, so to speak, but it is a light tutorial. And what I wanted to do is that I got an idea for you guys. You guys know that um, I love to do a lot of DIY stuff. And I was checking out one of my favorite photographers and he did something that I had actually done years ago, but I stopped doing it because I felt like I could go out and purchase this particular item. And the item I'm talking about, as you see it right there on the screen, is a snoot, okay? Now, if you look at any photographers like Lindsay Adler or any of the popular photographers, that they're always trying to concentrate the light in one area. And I know that a lot of you guys out there, gang, that you got a lot of ideas that you like to do. Me, what I did is that I took an old tube and this is an old tube that costs nothing, really. You could actually pick them up for free. Um, at Staples, you could buy them, but, or any of your uh, Office Depot places. But this, I picked this up for, I got this for free. And you can find these tubes anywhere. So what I did is I cut it in half. And I wanted to concentrate the light on a subject that I was taking an image of, as you can see on the screen right there. And I wanted to create shafts of light. So what I did is that I took this and I cut it down. I cut it down with a, uh, with a knife. Uh, about this length right here. Now the kind you really want to try to get is a white kind because it's white on the interior so that when it reflects, when the light reflects through it, it uh, gives you a nice good clean light. If you don't, no big deal. You can still use this type right here. What I take, what I do is I take it, I put it on my strobe. Sometimes you might have to bend, you might have to squish the strobe down just a little bit in order to get it around. Here we go. There we go, right there. All right, there. And now I got this and I can actually angle this any way I want right here. And this shaft of light right here, if I get it up close enough to my, uh, say my background or even, let me get it, let me get it focused, get it close enough to my background or just even close enough to my subject. As you can see right there, a couple of the images that I'm showing you on the screen is I got it close to my subject. Now, guess what? This whole setup didn't cost me a freaking dime, guys. A freaking dime. I told y'all, DIY stuff, rigging up stuff is the great thing, you know? Now, if you wanna go out and purchase something, okay, that's fantastic. This right here, I'm not worried about losing this. I'm not worried about, I'm losing, I'm worried about losing my, losing my, 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 my speed light, but I'm not worried about losing anything like this. Now, say if you wanted to create um, an even um, thinner shaft of light, what you could do is that you could get the old paper towel roller. If you get the old paper towel roller, okay, and you go ahead and you can put that, center it just right, and put some tape around this, and use some gaffer's tape. And if you use gaffer's tape, you'll create that same shaft of light. It'll be more concentrated. With something like a setup like this, you can have your assistant or even just yourself, if you got like a light stand or something like this um, with a boom, a light stand maybe with a boom arm on it, you can go ahead and angle this just right, get it close to your subject's face. You can put like a pattern really close over there and go ahead and just take that shot. Have that pattern right there. Something that I like to do. Now, if you're gonna invest in anything, um, I like to invest in uh, something that can hold um, say like hold my uh, my reflector you can invest in something like that get that to hold your reflector hold it in and Cover that light so that you can go ahead and block off that light and give a nice dramatic look For your images right here. So guys this year this year this year for 2018 I am going to be doing a lot with stuff like this concentrating light manipulating light bending light um, because as I've told y'all before in my things, light don't bend. So you got to kind of simulate or put, or make it bend for you. So looking at snoots, if you just feel like you want to go and purchase a snoot, I'm looking at them right now here on the computer. And I'm telling you, uh, I think the cheapest one that I found is it's called a, uh, 
This is called an Andor, A-N-D-O-E-R. And this kind of snoot right here, it comes with some gels. Incidentally, you can put gels on top of this right here. Get some gels, some old gels, buy some gels, put them right here on top, tape it down with some gaffer tape. Now you've changed the color of your subject. Hey guys, I'm trying to get you on a budget. So you might want to listen, you might want to listen, okay? Um, if you want to go with some of the, the uh, want to go with some of the, the Rogue stuff, um, you can get the benders. Um, as you're seeing right here, the benders, you can get the benders. Um, I think, listen, one of the cheapest snoo uh, snoots I see right here is, is, is actually the Endor. The next one up is I'm, I'm seeing is the Newer. The Newer has a snoot that you can, that you can purchase. And the highest price one that I'm seeing, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's more out there that are priced a lot higher than that, um, is about, it's about $49.95. And I believe that one right there is by um, LumaQuest. And that one right there has a lot of, it's, you can buy it at B&H, it has like, um, you can actually concentrate the light by taking it out, bringing it in, and what it does is that it focuses it and then it, it, it widens it. But even with this right here, you can do the same thing. Like I said, if you get the roller with the paper towel and do that way, or you can use like this, utilize this. By taking it further away from your subject, it spreads the light by bringing it closer. It concentrates the light more. So guys, hey, that's my little DIY take on utilizing these old um, packaging canisters. Um, I think it's great. If you don't have a packaging canister, guess what you guys can use? Paper. Take some of that paper, take some rolls of paper. You can go ahead and circulate it. Tie, put some tape around it. Put it on there. Create a pool of light around your subject. Concentrate that light. Get a more dramatic look. I'm telling you guys, it works. It works out fantastic. Hey, that's my tip for you right now. Starting out the new year with Somewhere in America 2018. Stay tuned for some exciting episodes. I'm going to be do taking the show into a different direction. I'm going to be going some different places. And I'm going to be interviewing a lot of different photographers this year. So we're going to be doing a whole lot for you guys and bringing a lot of things to you in the way of photography. I'm gonna be searching out every DIY I can this year to, co to try to help you to save money on your photography and to still create all those dramatic, dramatic images. Guys, other than that, as I always said before, God bless you, I love you. It still stands this year. If you can't say anything nice to anyone or do anything nice for anybody, you know what I always say, stick a shoe in your mouth and do what? Keep it moving. God bless, talk with y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button down there. I want to see you subscribe.